So when we start talking about the actual physical infrastructure of the internet, um, there's two things we want to talk about. The first is, how is stuff actually wired together? And the second thing is, common features of the communication that occurs over those wire channels. This is a part of the internet that I really like because it's about infrastructure. It's about stuff. It's about how things fit together. And it's a rich history that traces back hundreds of years because the infrastructure that built the internet, or the infrastructure I should say that we built the internet on top of, actually is itself layered on top of many, many other layers of previous infrastructure that came before it. So in a lot of cases, the internet comes to us through wires and through systems that were built to transmit other kinds of signals originally. And sometimes those systems were actually built following some of the footsteps of earlier networks that transported goods or people across the country, or in certain cases even across the ocean. And so, um, so when I'm starting here, the, the first thing I want to point out is when we talk about the physical infrastructure of the internet, we're going to talk a lot about wires and about wired connections. But a lot of you are probably thinking, I don't have a wire that connects to my computer. My computer communicates wirelessly. And a lot of cases, this is a really exciting development that's driving a lot of the growth of the internet, and of course, is bringing the internet everywhere, is the fact that our mobile devices can access the internet through wireless connections. That allows us to take them with us wherever we go and use them anywhere uh, as long as we can ha get a signal. Now, those wireless connections are extremely important and extremely exciting, but they occur mainly at the edges of the internet. So for example, this wireless router right here behind me, as soon as my signal reaches that wireless router, it itself is connected with wires, and those wires connected to other computers that are themselves connected with wires to other computers. So the story about the infrastructure of the internet very quickly becomes a story about wires and about how things are connected together physically in physical space, right? Despite the fact that our primary experience of the infrastructure today is frequently through wireless connections. Now, the wires that make up the internet uh, across the globe, those wires across the country, um, and those wires in many cases are hidden in plain sight all around us. So a network that's as pervasive as the internet, it's impossible not to notice once you start to look for it. So one of the things we're going to be doing is looking around us, finding those physical net connect connections, finding those wires, and thinking a little bit about how this all works together. The final thing I want to point out is there's a very tangible connection between cyberspace, which many of you think of as the space that defines how we interact on the internet, and physical space. We think of cyberspace as being this separate physical universe, but all of the computers that you interact with on the internet have a physical reality to them. When you exchange data with a server at Facebook, that server is located somewhere on Earth, in some server room uh, somewhere uh, around the world. And all of the information that you exchange with that server itself follows a path through physical space. Um, and you know, maybe what I'm trying to do here is just really sort of excite you about thinking about the physical internet and how things are actually connected together. Because I think this is a really important and really beautiful and exciting story about how the internet came to be.